As you gather your sources and work on beginning your annotated bibliography, I'd like to go through this sample with you so you can know exactly what you need to put um, in your assignment to get a good grade. The first thing you want to do is, when you open your Word document, make sure you have double spacing, make sure that um, you have a 12-point font, Times New Roman is a good one, make sure you put your header up here in the corner by going to Insert Page Number, and then after the page number appears, typing your last name, putting a space in between your name and the number. And I want you to just begin with a Works Cited page. So that's the first component of the annotated bibliography. You need five sources, and the breakdown is as follows. You need two database articles, one book, one online resource, but be careful with those. Make sure you're avoiding dot coms and things that aren't that reputable. And then a fifth uh, source of your choice. So um, here's my Works Cited page. You do um, have to think about the different types of sources you're using. So if you look at this one right here, the third one, this is from Pursuing Happiness. So we already know how to cite this. We're very, very good at citing um, a short work from an anthology. But we also have to learn how to cite other kinds of sources now. So you'll see this first one um, by the volume and, num uh, volume and issue numbers here, as well as the name of a database. I know that this is a journal article from a database. So this is one of my database sources. My second source is the, the documentary Happy because I want to use something from that in my paper. I want to talk about some of the research they cited in the movie. So you could also use that um, on your Works Cited page if you feel like you might use the documentary. Uh, the third one is from the book. So this is my book. This is my fifth choice source, by the way. Um, again, here's another one that has the name of a database and it has the journal. So I know this is another journal article from a database. And then my last one is uh, from a website called Psych Your Mind. Um, but it's published by the Berkeley Science Review. So though it is a .com, it does have a little bit more credibility. So you have to evaluate accordingly when you're looking at your sources. Um, so I have two database, one book, one online, and then the source of my choice, I picked the documentary. But you could pick another database source, a book, whatever you want. Just start with five for now, um, and then you might add more sources or you might have more out there that you want to use as you write your paper. So then you go do a page break and go to the next page. And if you follow the instructions on the assignment, you'll see that for every source, for all five of them, you'll write one paragraph. So I just put number one here. I listed the article just in case. This is the first one on my Works Cited page. And then I answer, I address the, um, the, the credibility of the source, the timeliness of the source, the bias. I evaluate it completely in the form of a single paragraph here. So I was using the chart in the book, if you go to that table, um, depending on what source it is. So mine was a journal, so I looked in the, you know, the periodical column, and I answered all of the considerations and questions that the book asked for each of the four major categories. You'll see that mine is a little bit detailed. It goes to almost one full page. So I would say if you're writing your paragraphs for this and it's not at least, you know, 75% of the page, three quarters of the page, uh, you got to keep writing. Okay, so I want these to be an in-depth evaluation. I want you to really look at the particulars and specifics of a source because you need to make very good choices um, in the sources that you choose to include in your paper. I am including this document so you can read through it um, as, a, as a model for what you're doing. Okay, and then here I just put number two, three, four, five. This would be all your sources. And I just said continue to keep doing this for all the sources that you found. Use mine as a model. Don't skip over the details. Said that already. Um, and then page 364 is really important to making sure you get all of the details. Uh, basically, I just want to know that you, um, you've read the source, you've evaluated the source, and you're really clear about how this is going to help your essay or where it will fit into it. The last component is a reflection, and you can just write like reflection and then write your paragraph where you answer some, all, a few of the questions that I included on the assignment page. So this is what I'm looking for. Um, so the Works Cited page is one page, and then if you do about a page for each of your sources, that's going to be 
six pages and then your reflection. So this might be about a seven page document um, as you work through it, just FYI. Um, there's no need to put your name on it at the top or do a heading because your last name is here and then when you submit it, your name is beside the, um, beside the document, so I'll know who you are. Um, okay, so I hope this is helpful. Make sure you um, download a copy of this from Canvas so that you can take a look and um, make sure that you use mine as a model as you are developing yours. But if you do run into problems or have questions, please let me know.